In this video, you will get an overview of the main components in Altair Rapid Miner AI Hub. We introduce the main components of the AI Hub platform like projects, processes and services, some visualization options, and the notebook interface. After logging in, this is the screen that you will see. If you are not an administrator, some of the options will be disabled on your screen. The upper part in the apps area shows the available options. The first category is projects. A project is a folder structure that contains other folders, files, and for example, data, models, and other objects of your project. Projects on AI Hub are versioned folders with the open source Git system. So this version control system is well known and very popular, and it is usable with other tools outside of the Rapid Miner ecosystem. Access control is on the full project, so if you share your entire project with a coworker, then they will see everything inside the project. In Studio, you can add projects as special repositories. They are special because you can interact with the version control system. You can save your changes on the AI Hub as a snapshot. You can access updates from coworkers using the same project, and the objects in the project can be accessed with Panopticon or with Rapid Miner notebooks and with external development tools. Under Executions and Schedules, you can see all the modules for process execution on the AI Hub. You might want to execute processes automatically with the scheduler. You can schedule processes for periodic execution. For example, the period might be every day, hour, or weekend. Queues and job agents are available to control the parallel execution of jobs. If you are interested in this topic, there's a special video about job control. Endpoints are the modern and most advanced method for exposing rapid minor processes as web services. Web services, or REST API endpoints, as they are also known, are a standard method for sharing data between different environments and applications. In the Endpoints interface, you can graphically configure the endpoints. For example, you can select Processes, name the endpoint, specify parameters to change the behavior of the process, and so on. Endpoints are based on a scalable and distributed architecture. This means that you can have web API agents on multiple servers, but you can still manage them centrally in this Endpoints interface. Panopticon is the standard visualization environment of Altair. It is very powerful. It offers everything from simple standard chart types to complex advanced chart types. Data can come from different sources like databases or CSV files. But for us, the most interesting way to get data is from AI Hub endpoints. Another way to build dashboards is the dashboards component. It is actually based on the open source Grafana project. Grafana offers a dashboard front end with drag and drop. You can define filters and other interaction methods. Data is again coming from web services or databases or other sources. The Grafana-based dashboards is designed for time series charts. It also offers bar and pie charts, but these are limited compared to Panopticon. If your data are fundamentally time series, then Grafana can be a good choice. If not, then Panopticon is probably the best choice for a general dashboard with different types of panels. Rapid Miner notebooks are provided by a software called Jupyter Hub. Jupyter Hub is a common notebook based data science environment. This means that you can mix documentation and code in a notebook. Then you can execute code fragments or the entire notebook and get the results of any code fragment in the same notebook. Rapid Miner notebooks are integrated with the rest of the AI Hub. For example, they integrate into the project's version control system and also are able to execute rapid minor processes or access rapid minor data in the repository. Notebooks use customizable Python environments, just like Studio. Administrators can use the platform administration to define the Python coding environment and also control a connected scoring agent. Embedded scoring agents are a legacy way of creating REST API endpoints. In the Identity and Security module, administrators can perform user, group, and permission management. There is a different video about this if you are interested in this topic. So, in this video, we saw the main menu of AI Hub with the main components, and we learned about processes and how to expose them in web services. We learned about visualization options and code-based development using notebooks.